That's why a player like Shohei Otani becomes so incredibly important to the mm -hmm. game and potentially important to any organization for which he plays. Mm -hmm. We were throwing this out earlier. I wonder what you all think. 888-957-9570. I made the statement yesterday. I think the Giants would be nuts to acquire Shohei Otani. Absolutely nuts. Oh, and in fact, I, no, no, no. I really do. I think almost any team would be stupid to acquire Shohei Otani right now mm -hmm. And it's only because of math that that I say this and because of what I think is driving Otani. I firmly believe that Otani is being driven by the idea of winning. I don't think he's being driven by the idea of money. Maybe I'm being naive, but if it's going to go north of $500 million, I don't think Shohei's really got to worry. Like, uh-oh, you offered me 560 but someone else offered me 565 Oh, God, who gives a rip? Mm -hmm. He going to be fine. The money is going to be there. So he's never played a playoff game in his life. I think that's what's driving him as he approaches his 30th birthday. So let's think about this from the perspective of the acquiring team. Mm -hmm. The Angels are stuck. They both at the same time say they want to resign him, yet they're going to miss the playoffs again. And if he leaves as a free agent and they get nothing for him, they've got egg on their face. Right. But if we're going to buy into the idea that Shohei wants to be on the West Coast. We're really talking about three baseball teams. We're talking about the Los Angeles Dodgers, the San Diego Padres, and the San Francisco Giants. If I am any one of those teams, am I going to be so hell-bent on trying to win the World Series this year that I am going to take what it's needed to acquire him from the Angels? Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you four of my top seven prospects to get him from the Angels and then potentially lose him 10 weeks later? Or am I going to focus on getting him in free agency and, by the way, making the call right now to say, hey, Shohei, we want you so bad that we wouldn't dare acquire you because we would like our top four prospects to be your teammate for the next four years. I think Shohei would actually be activated to not – be acquired by one of these teams he wants to go to because, in theory, they're going to be a lesser team when he gets there. Yeah, that that's true, but that is also what what kind of would kick the Giants out of, and that's what, what you said. It, Giants would be crazy, but unfortunately, and I hate to say it and I hate to put it in the universe, unfortunately, that's what makes, if they're going to continue to just open their wallets, that's what makes the Dodgers scary because, Willard, it seems like they got a top prospect a dime a dozen. Every time every you you every time they take the field, there's a 20 year old that hasn't played that they're about to give the keys to. So I think the 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 Dodgers could maybe take that chance and say, "Yeah, you can have these prospects. We got more." But the Giants can't do that. Right, right. But the Dodgers. I mean, look, there's no there's no discounting that the Dodgers are the favorite. Mm -hmm. But it, it's funny when I put the, I put it out there yesterday on Twitter and I said I, I think the Giants would be nuts to acquire Shohei Otani. I don't understand it. The right. number one thing that you hear back from fans because we always try to live in the moment and you're supposed to be go for it uh, type of a mentality is mm -hmm. people say if you win the World Series then it's worth it. Who cares about your top four prospects if you win the World Series? Right, but. What about the mere entertainment factor, let's be obvious, the self-esteem to a city that goes with an, an entertainment entity like that? Mm -hmm. If I offered you this, you got to pick one, okay? Okay. You're the Giants. You win the World Series this year with Shohei. Okay. And then lose him. Or you don't acquire him at all this year and you get him in the offseason for the next 10 years. No promises on what happens during those 10 years. Which side are you picking? Man. And you can weigh in on that too. 888-957-9570. Would you rather have the World Series title this year or Shohei for the next 10? So you win it this year with Shohei, but yep. you're going to lose him. But then you don't get him. But then you don't get him. Or you get him for 10, and you could win. You don't know. And I would think the chances are decent, pretty good, in a 10-year stretch that you would get one. That you would get one, right? But if you... I Knowing mean, what we know you found about... The Angels found a way to not do anything. Right, but right. Giants, Giants have a better not, track record about that. <laughs> the Angels the have Angels. not had a good pitcher in forever, other than Shohei himself.
I mean, it's it is tough because if you're a Giants fan, I mean, Giants fan, we we've been living off these even year championships pretty darn well here. It's, so it's, yeah, it's it been, could go a while. It, yep, of course it's baseball. But I think that if I'm thinking of going to the ballpark, you know, taking the kiddo right, enjoying myself, grabbing the bacon wrap hot dog after, and I just watch Shohei pitch a a complete game and hit a you know go splash hit. I think you got to take your chance with the 10 years. You have to. I'm ta- like I I think to me I know how people think mm-hmm. and this is like when I first asked the question you're like oh you know, think about it for I don't even need to think about it. To me that is an easy call. Give me Shohei for 10 years. Like what are the Giants really missing? They're missing the cool factor. Mm-hmm. You're going to take a ring this year and then Wilmer Flores is batting third again next year. That's what you want. Hey and I love hitting. Wilmer. Like, sorry, Wilmer. That that's like <laughs> totally out of line. There, well, that's but a, come on, <laughs> Slater batting first. Be careful, the Slater. Wilmer's you know, batting third. Be careful, man. Slates is batting six. The Slates will get you. You got. You know be what I mean? Careful, like, yeah. it, it, like the cool factor mm-hmm. totally changes. People are freaking out to get to a Giants game to watch Shohei put it in the bay. Maybe on a night when he also throws a shutout. Mm -hmm. And you get that for a decade. Like, come on. Stop trying to, oh, you got to get him this year. And then you'll use that 10 weeks to convince him to stay. Oh, stop. That's not going to mean a damn thing. Right. Shohei wants two things. He wants the contract to be right. And he wants the surrounding team to be whatever he wants it to be. Mm -hmm. And if I'm the Giants... I call his representative right now as I tell you what we want. We want Kyle Harrison right next to you in the rotation next year. Mm-hmm. So we're not even going to make an offer for you this year. Yeah. it. Well, the Angels themselves are in a ridiculously terrible spot. Terrible spot. Yeah. Terrible situation. I hear what you're saying. I would also say that at this point, when you look at the numbers, and we were talking about the, the MLB draft that just happened, they're down to 20 rounds now. So if you look at those percentages and how many of your guys truly hit to the level that you want them to hit, is it worth taking that chance? Let's say the Giants missed the playoffs, and now all of a sudden you have to convince show, hey, we're going to go from a not from missing the playoffs to a World Series contender. You got to convince them of that, or you get Shohei, you lose in the first, second round, and you say, hey, you, you did have a pretty good stint with them. You lost some you lost some prospects, but who knows what those prospects were going to be yeah, anyway. No, who knows? But again, I, like the Angels aren't doing this deal for anything less than a big, huge haul. Yes. I think the Giants can make the playoffs without him this year. But isn't That's a, the ideal. Right. But isn't a smaller haul better than no haul, which is with the Angels? That's why the Angels are in a tough spot because – if he walks and you get nothing. So they're going to have to, oddly enough, I feel... Take less? Take less. Yeah, but see, but but understand the PR hit that comes with that. Like, because it's not just, hey, we got to get something. It's also a full admission. We're out on the race. Mm-hmm. The Angels right now are pitching to their fan base that we are one of the teams that can sign him this offseason. Come on, man. I think it's a joke. Come on. If you listen to him talk yesterday through a translator... He essentially struck this chord. I am sick and tired of losing. Yeah. That's what's driving Shohei right now. Yeah. As and, far as we can tell. Right. And well, and to your to your point earlier about, you know, just the baseball in general. I don't know about you, but translator or no translator, I watched that World Baseball Classic. That speech that he gave before they took on yep. the US, yep. I had chills. Even through even though I, you know, I was reading the subtitles and I had chills, right? So you can transcend that and you have that type of talent. So yes, if you're going to allow me to have him for a decade, you'd be crazy to not because you got to think, all right, the Giants, they're not the Angels. They're going to put something together. So we're presented by Fremont Bank, full service banking, no compromises. We'll take some of your calls on this next, 888-957-9570. Would you take the World Series title this year or 10 years of Shohei? We'll take your calls on that. Uh, Doc Pandia, not too far away. Jacob Rubid, the Southern League coach for the Warriors, is coming up in the 5 o'clock hour. And also, Bill Shake in L.A. Times did something cool at the All-Star game yesterday. Went around to players from different teams and said, what is your pitch to Shohei? 
Alex Cobb of the Giants said something real interesting. We'll tell you what it is coming up next. Styles is in for dibs. It's Willard and Dibs.